we all tied our boat on the highway. <laughs> we go in any bush. We there any crew. And this is a little thing, but we could do proper introductions when we reach any bush, yeah? So we here with being a little more shady here. We here with Shay, Manuel, Bush Monster, and myself, the wildlife master. We have some wee gears here. We are some wee back, and we going along in the uh, along this trail here. We still near the highway. You can hear the highway there in the distance. Yeah, and we gonna see them move out. Look, yeah. Look there, some crappy capybara crap. Capybara, yes. Some capybara crap. There on the ground, footprints all over the place. How real wildlife here. If you look carefully, in the, you can see kind of the trails in the grass. But yeah. So this is the camping area we fixing up here. And you go see when we done. So camp set up, look at it. You remember the bush it had here? This is it now. It is the full view. Camp set up. <laughs> hey boy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's what we're dealing with. <laughs> we have a new wildlife park. It's the next morning. We didn't do much yesterday besides cook. We here with everybody. We didn't really film much yesterday. We didn't go on any exploration. We're in hunting. Well, set trap. We are warming up some food. Fixing up a little breakfast here. And then we go and catch some crocodilians. <laughs> caimans, caimans. Yeah, if only they didn't know by now, or they should have known a long time. <laughs> I just want to that. We have some, it's not, it's not KFC, KFC, it's fried chicken. <laughs> BFC. Yes. Bush, Bush fried chicken. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna fix up a little fight. We have, we fire side there. Right. And we're gonna see to, to warm up some food there. Don't want to go to wash some wares. I'm gonna wash some wares down by the river. And look at Capybara Trail all there and I have a water hole at there. All here is that is the water hole. All there, Capybara Trail. We just clear up this trail but look. Capybara poop. Fascinating. Crap never been so fascinating. <laughs> so that's ah, the river. Mr. Keeman. That capybara poop is a good bit. We're gonna talk about trail. So we did a lot. Oh, jumping. Just caught this. If I could recall, this here is a Guyanese leaf fish just floating around. I think trying to 
camouflage. But yeah, guys, we just caught this. We're just doing some fishing here because we had to catch our food with camp hunting. Just caught it in the net here. But time to put it back. Yeah, we're fishing here. We get this grand tikai right here. The big fish. I don't really like the taste much. We're looking for something to eat to this evening. So this is our grand tikai. One of the largest fishes found in Trinidad waterways and one of the few fishes that is found in salt and fresh water. Look at it. It's a small one by the way. Look at that. So I'm gonna try and keep them alive there and release them. So after a day of coming into the marshes of swamp and hunting and liming we now begin the exploration in this grass land let's see what we find some sort of owl over there i believe it's some sort of owl it is an owl is that owl is that for two You gotta take your tank on me. Look how that we're looking. Finally getting close. Look at it. I'm here in marsh. I tell you, this is one of the Strangest camp. We actually camping so close to a major road. <laughs> it's kind of unique, but it has so much like look how the ground looking. All them mash up things is because of capybara. And how the grass looking cut capybara. Have so much. But we exploring to see what kind of wildlife it have around here. Look at Cascabel. Remember, put the light up to your head, you can see the eye shine. Look. Yeah. Nope. Look like a male. So, this is one of the most common snakes of this area a cascabel or. Trinidad tree boy, I have a couple of other names. Look at him go. He have a kind of scar on his head. Looks like a male. And amazing. This. Baby, that's what they always say. This is a baby cascabel, a juvenile. Look how small it is. And imagine that this thing could get like seven feet long. But if you notice, there are faint patterns along the body. Now, there's a not so common mutation that happens where you could see the patterns more pronounced. It almost looks like a different species. This is what those big mean cascabels those trinidad tree boars or black tail tree boars i think that's one of the names they call them and all yes this is what they look like when they're juveniles pretty now well, i'm just gonna put them back up in the tree Pay no mind, pay no mind to the sound of the cars, but look at all those lovely lilies. 
this here. There's a copy bar even. Yeah, it's my narrow there. So yes, those cars are a sight. Well a sound that you can hear. I can't remember exactly what kind. I think it's a yellow, but more brown. Look, a horse whip up in the tree there. Cool. Looks neat. I'll grow so many good. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, mouse opossum. So, this here is a Robinson's mouse manico also known as gross or rat now there are two animals known as gross or rat but this is the smallest well did I say manico I mean opossum right technically it's like a manico opossum same thing but this is the smallest opossum and one of three opossums found in Trinidad look how smallest compared to my hand look how smallest thing is Find them just crawling there. Very soft. I would have never thought <laughs> I could pet a wild Robinson's opossum. Just there. Look at that. And there's the prehensile tail. It gripped on there strong. There's a strong grip here there. Ah, nice grip. Look at this. Amazing. How beautiful this thing is. So, we're going to get some footage and let it go its merry way. You see this fruit here? I know it as fig. Not like the banana fig thing, but no, it's fig. And but there's a next name I can't remember it at the moment. But this, you see this green fruit here, and this bear, monkeys, parrots, toucans, lap, guti, everything is eat it. This a very well a staple fruit. I don't think to my knowledge, humans can't eat it. But I'm not really an expert in these things. But I I like to know about them. But you see this? The information I have on this so far is it attracts plenty wildlife. It grows into a massive tree as well. So this marks the end of the second day. The first day we did just come and lime and cook in the bush and thing. The second day we did some hunting and then in the night we did some exploration. Yeah, we spent three days in the bush and all. So, welcome to the last and final day. See in that spot long day, those spots there is capybaras. Difficult. Trying to get close to see them properly. They are? Yeah. Come on. There's no other still. Yeah, there's some capybaras there. Like six or eight of them. Yeah, I didn't oh, I didn't film when the thing on but it's um some pasta and then some cheesy corn beef with corn in it some caiman with some ketchup on it some 
key when I came in. Yeah. We eating, we surviving out here. We thriving. We the fire there. Good? Yep. You do good. Cheesy corn beef tasting good. <laughs> yeah, over there. Eating. Some in the back there. Eating. Oh, the cheesy corn beef tasting. <laughs> How the cheesy corn beef tasted? I can't hear you, my mouth full. <laughs> How the cheesy corn beef tasted? <laughs> I'm busy chewing. I'm busy chewing. Eating. So, I hope all you enjoyed this. This is the first hunting video I actually film. Yep, so we pretty much thrive out there. First day we went hunting, the second day was more exploring and then the last day we just chill around and you know, watch around to see what animal passed. The terrain was very difficult to explore and it was a learning experience and we did some data collection. In all, it was fun. So I hope you comment, like, share and subscribe and until next time, blessings and bless out.